What does T L O R stand for? Hardest drug you ever took. Um American Idol or Dancing with the Stars? What made you start YouTube? Would you cut your hair for a hundred dollars? Fake friends or fake friend fake fans or fake friends? Which one is more dangerous? Craziest thing you ever done for pussy. What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tilo another day. The fuck. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tilo. Another day, another dollar. If you don't feel me, then I guess you're new to this channel and you didn't subscribe yet. I get it. It's cool. Feel me? Right now, we have 494 subscribers. The goal is to get to 600 subscribers by the end of October. So if you can, you already know what to do. Or if you don't, please subscribe, like this video, comment down below, and help push this video to the YouTube algorithm so we can grow together and bigger than ever. Feel me? Also, check my link. Also, check my merch down in the link below, feel me? I'll put it down in the description, feel me? Um, I'll be putting out more designs, more regular delight for Rob, T-L-O-R, merch, feel me? Just, you know, support is free. Well, this support is not free, feel me? But check the link out in the bio. But yeah, in today's video, we're doing a basic Q&A, feel me? I got these questions from social media, Instagram, Facebook, Google. Um, yeah, so we're doing a Q&A. Um, it's still early, so I'm drinking coffee. <sighs> Alright, so let's start it off. When is... What is your birthday? Or oh, when? What? How have you asked? Um, my birthday is March 13th, 1998. Show me. Um, 23, about to be 24. Uh, da, 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 da. The next question was, what's your sign? Which is a Pisces. So for me, uh, those go hand in hand. Um... Yeah, March 13th, I'm a Pisces. I'm not too big on horoscopes, but... I'm just not too big on horoscopes. <laughs> um, do you have any children? I don't have any children. I don't plan on having any soon. Nah. Yeah, I'm not ready. So really, I'm not ready. Um, next question. What does T-L-O-R stand for? Nobody asked this, but for me, I think I just need to tell y'all since y'all watching this video. <laughs> for me, T-L-O-R. T-L-O-R stands for The Life of Rob. Feel me? I got this name because I made it for myself. Feel me? Back then in like 2017, everybody had a nickname for themselves, you know, to build their brand. And I didn't have one of those. So, I said the life of Rob, feel me? Because my brand is based on everything I do and around me. I just went to vlog and, you know, just show everybody what I do behind the brand. So, it's really revolved around me for fake and the life of me. So, yeah, just the life of Rob. And ever since then, TLO, I've been running with it, feel me? I got directed by t Law, and I got the real t Law. feel me? Directed by t Law is a production. The real T Lord is me. Feel me? The channel you watching right now. Uh yeah, it's just a personal channel about what I do, entertainment, vlogs, um, traveling, how tos, anything, feel me? The other channel I have is more for production, music videos, camera tutorials, you know, stuff like that. So I'll definitely put the link down in the bio if you're interested. And I'm definitely planning on third, fourth quarter. I'm taking that channel more seriously because I'm already monetized on that channel, but I don't put content. I only do music videos and, you know, feel me? I don't do what I'm supposed to do. I don't, I'm not a creator on that channel. So I'm going to become a creator on that channel. And if you want to help, subscribe to that channel too, because we definitely grow. And that channel right now is on 1,500 subscribers, 1,500. So definitely by the end of this year, we're going to get that to 2,000. So next question, hardest drug you ever took? Um, weed. I smoke weed every day. <laughs> feel me? I don't do no other drugs. Feel me? Um, in high school, Zans was a thing, but I never had Zans before. They still are. Um, I had some lean before. I took a sip of lean one or two times. I don't think it ever did anything. Um, I don't pop pills. I don't. 
sniff. I don't shoot. Yeah, I don't... Weed is the hardest drug I've ever done. And they say that's a gateway drug to everything. But, feel me, sometimes weed is just enough. <laughs> hey, you know, feel me? American Idol or Dancing with the Stars? Because I was raised on both shows and I know I can't sing, I'm going with Dancing with the Stars. I'll probably have more of a chance winning on that one. <laughs> so, that was a question I got from Google. I think I only picked that because I was raised growing on it. So I thought that was a good question. Like, I, like who would ask that? But that's a good question. I can't sing, so I'm bound to lose. <laughs> um, how do you feel about being tall? I don't feel tall. Yeah, I don't feel tall. Sometimes it's like... Um, it's hard to explain. It's not really hard to explain. I'm just trying to put it in the right words so I don't sound too, like, weird or sensitive. But it's my personal insecurity, so it has nothing to do with, you know, y'all. I'm actually, like, 5'11", but because I'm skinny, I don't feel as tall to other niggas, if you get what I'm saying, feel me? So it's just like, yeah, I'm tall. I'm of height, but feel me, I'm still small. So I'm not really tall. Next question. <laughs> What's your favorite shoes? My favorite shoes, off rip. I could, off rip. Yeezy Wave Runners. Feel me? Like, them shits are so fire, bro. Like, they fashionable. They comfortable. I need to get me another pair because the ones I got right now are beaters. Feel me? I done beat them up. Like, that's how good them, that's how much of my favorite sneaker they was. You know, feel me? Like, at a certain point, I didn't even care if, like, they was beat up or not. Because it was, like, they look good and they feel good. So, why well, I care. It's my favorite sneaker. Um, Dunks go crazy, though, now. The Dunks is going crazy now, though. Every colorway, feel me, how versatile you could be with it. It is going crazy. Um... Next question. Favorite food and restaurant? Give me a second, y'all. What's your favorite food and restaurant? My father keep wiping my nose, y'all. It's kind of hot in my room, feel me? Even though it's winter, this is all these lights and me talking, feel me? It's like me doing my first video all over again, feel me? If you didn't know, I actually, this is my second time doing this video or taking this video. The first time I missed a couple questions it just wasn't, it wasn't me. So I'm taking my time and I'm really giving y'all good content. So if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, like this video, feel me. I'm trying, I'm doing my best, feel me. I'm, I'm giving it my all. So give me a, a subscribe. That's it. <laughs> um, favorite food or restaurant? Favorite food or restaurant? Favorite? All right, now, nah, cuisine. I don't know why I blinked out like that. Chinese cuisine. I like Chinese cuisine. Um, restaurant. I would say Wild Ginger. Even though they have great food, great service, they take mad long to bring you the bill. Like, I don't understand that. And that's not even with just them. But that's with everywhere. Ooh. Gayu. I like Gayu too. They're ramen and then you cook your food. The chicken and shit. Now that's fire. I have a couple restaurants. If y'all want some restaurant videos and y'all want me to like, you know, feel me, give y'all restaurants to eat at or vlog, put it in the comments, put full videos, you know, feel me. Interact with me. You have to interact with me so I know what to put out for you guys. Um, what made you start YouTube? Good question. What made me start YouTube? I started photography. I'm sorry. I started photography. Photography turned into videography. Videography turned into business. Business turned into money, but it wasn't passive income. Right? Hit this out now. So once I discovered YouTube was a form of passive income and I'm already putting out content and it's not like I don't know how to do it. I said, why not do it for myself and put out your own content? Right? So I had directed by T Lo page, right? And I started putting out music videos on the shit. 
and I still never put out my own personal content. This is just music videos from other people. They'd be like, yo, um, upload for me or film me. Here's a video, just post it for me. You know, just little shit for me. It's not shit that, like, it's not things I wanted to do or, like, I wanted to personally put out or not. I personally sat down and made videos just like this one. So, being around other YouTubers really pushed me to put out your own content because I had the business page, but then I didn't want to post. I always wanted to post, you know, me content, but I can't, you can't mix me with business. So I said, I bet. Just create your own separate page and feel me? Let's get to it. And that's what I did. I created my own page in July. Right now, we almost have 500 subscribers. Feel me? The goal is 600 subscribers by the end of October. And yeah, we're growing. Feel me? I almost, I'm about to outbeat my other page, hopefully. I'm definitely going to outbeat my other page because I have my other page for about two years now. And this will be like 1,500 subscribers. So feel me? I'm not knocking a hustle, but... I'm definitely going to beat the hustle the second time around. Now that I know what to do and how to target it. Um, Next question. Next question. Would you cut your hair for $100? Nigga, no. <laughs> nah, I'm done not though. $100? I mean, maybe. Only because. Now, $100 is dead ass nothing. But I would still take it only because I plan on cutting it soon. Yeah, guys, I plan on cutting my hair soon. Whenever. I don't know. I'm just. I don't know, man. I'm, just... I'm about to get my hair done this week. It's been a minute. I haven't had my hair done since May. And I'm definitely going to post that video when I do get my hair done. So, um. Subscribe if you want to see that. Turn on your post notifications because. I don't know how else you're going to know if the video drops or not. But, yeah, I'm, I'm doing my hair for, like, the first time, May, June, July, August, September, October. This is the first time I'm doing my hair in six months. So, yeah, this is going to be a big transformation. Definitely stay tuned. Um, do you like Dr. Pepper? I do like Dr. Pepper. I don't mind Dr. Pepper. I feel like Dr. Pepper is an underrated soda. Very much so. Might be better than Coke. Drop the comments. Which what you think is better? Coke or Dr. Pepper? Y'all let me know. I'm taking Dr. Pepper. They got more flavors. Facts. Fake friends or fake friend? Fake fans or fake friends? Which one is more dangerous? I'm taking fake friends. Fake friends is the answer. Yes, fake friends. And it is more dangerous well, because the fake friends know more about you than a fan do. Fake friends, they know you personally. So they can use whatever they know personally to antagonize you, rather than a fan taking what they know from the outside in social media or, you know, just what they see and using it against you. A fake friend could do more than just that. So that's why it's more dangerous. It's a lot more dangerous because they, they really know you. So, feel me, but you got some crazy fans out there too who try to get to know you and they tap into all your shit and, you know, just go crazy and just do some nut shit. But I'm still taking a fake, a fake, um, friend. Fake friend is more dangerous. Um, your favorite color. How easy. I don't know, like, how could you save that question for last? Or, like, towards the end of the, the video? I know, it's a random Q&A. But, uh, blue. I don't know if you can see. My room is blue. I put a blue light in. Feel me? Blue. Blue. I like all types of shit. Blue. <laughs> like, feel me? I really like blue. Um, blue. <laughs> no cap. I'm really outside with the blue. So, blue's my favorite color. Even my bed sheets is blue. Everything is blue. Um, now, this is the last question, right? And I need you to do me a favor. If you're still watching the video right now, and you are new to the channel. I mean, this is for the the new. This is for the new people watching. 
subscribe because I'm pretty sure you didn't yet. Feel me? Even though I know this is probably your first video watching and you probably just made it to the end and you got to see more content, I promise you, you're going to subscribe. My content is fucking bomb. So just do me the favor, do you the favor and subscribe from now so that way you could, feel me, just start seeing me more and watching my content without having to search me or even browse features. It's easy. Like this video too, feel me? So that way I pop up more, you know, share, this, share with more people. Last question is, craziest thing you ever done for pussy? Eat it. <laughs> It'll be, I really haven't done anything crazy for pussy. If I'm a pussy, I have an accent, but well, I'm doing what I gotta do. If I do what I gotta do, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting a pussy. And I'm not paying for it either, you know, feel me? Like, we don't simp out here. Craziest thing I've ever done for pussy? Nah. I think the craziest thing I've ever done is pussy is eat it because if a female ever told me no, I can't get it and I eat it, I know I'm going to get it after. Feel me? So I think that's kind of crazy to me. you going to eat some pussy just to get it. Well, feel me? Sometimes you don't even got to do that. So I think that would be the craziest thing to me. So pussy. But yo, if you like this video, feel me? Give this shit a thumbs up. Feel me? I'm happy you made it this far with me. Feel me? It was great talking to you guys. Feel me? I actually liked it. Feel me? If you want me to do a part two, drop it in the comments. Get this video to a thousand likes. Feel me? Um, drop some questions in the comments too if you want a part two because I actually need questions to do the part two if you want it. So, yeah. Definitely subscribe for this next video. Feel me? Stay tuned. I'm about to do another video. Y'all know the vibes. Yeah.